Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to A Rabbit's Tale. We're gonna play Klonoa, Door to Phantom Mile. Can you guess why? I shouldn't have to tell you. It's a it's a very Xmas. Oh, we're not playing Xmas. Uh yeah, let's erase this file and we'll enter a name. Uh It's Klonoa's twenty-fifth anniversary, and there's a brand new uh announcement available for a new Klonoa game. I think we're gonna I'm just gonna call this um Bun. B Ooh, N, as I struggle to figure out where letters are on the alphabet. The name is correct. Let's set options. Uh, options are correct, trust me. And we are ready to start. This is the original PlayStation Klonoa Door to Phantom Isle. And uh, I will be just a little bit quiet during some of the cutscenes and things because I want you to be able to experience it for yourself if you've never had them uh, presented to you. So this is how the game begins. And it's just going to be a fun, easy breezy playthrough of Klonoa. I'm super excited for a brand new release of both Door to Phantom Isle and its PS2 sequel, uh, Lunatea's Veil, vale, coming to the Nintendo Switch and other platforms in the future. Uh, I look forward to being able to play these games on Steam with some kind of crazy 4K mod and, uh, and ray tracing support because <laughs> I'm sure someone will find a way you know they will so I will I will hush up for just a bit here so that we can pay more attention to this glorious little FMV sequence I've always been a fan of these just because uh, you know they've tried to recreate this in some of the more modern like Klonoa on the Wii and things like that, and it's just not as magical. The detail's just not there. It's too bad. Look at him, and he's so cute. <laughs> okay. We now begin in Vision One of One. Look at that 2.5D goodness. All right. What was that? It's from Bell Hill, says Hupo. Sounds like something crashed. It's just like my dream. Let's go, Klonoa! It begins! The beginnings of Gale. Breeze Gale, the Wind Village. I don't... I don't know if I'm gonna go for 100%. Um... I haven't played this in a, in a while. Whoops. Whoa! <laughs> and I'm playing uh, with a controller. Because I, uh, I got my... If you've been paying attention to some of my more recent runs of uh, Jack and Dexter, I went and got my, uh, my controller replaced. Um, I'm using a, one of my older Xbox Afterglow controllers. I've always been a fan of this one. It just, it just felt right. I like it. Those little purple guys are called Zippos, and these... Adorable little orange-looking dudes are called moos. They just kind of—they just kind of hang around. Um, I need to get I'm gonna at least I'm gonna at least grab him so that I can. There we go. So yeah, Klonoa is uh, Klonoa is a cabot, and uh, there we go. He has a, a little ring that he's able to inflate enemies with. Yes, you heard that right. Halt, who goes there? Up here, you fool! 
the old man. How dare you go through my tower without even saying hello. Hold it right there. Harumph. Harumph, harumph. Hey, kid, you shouldn't come sneaking around here. Ooh, I'm sorry. Apology accepted. I'm Baloo the Mason. So, I looked at my beautiful Lefice outside. It's my masterpiece. Hey, if you guys are Klonoa fans and you pronounce characters differently, that's okay. <laughs> She's the legendary diva who sings the song of her birth. Nope, didn't know that. Kids these days. Oh, by the way, and if you hear noises from outside, I got the windows wide open because it is humid as balls. And I, I just can't deal with it anymore. So he's building this tower to reach the Moon Kingdom, which is where Lefice lives. Yupao says, I wonder if it's really possible to reach the Moon Kingdom with this. Ho! Yipe. I love this. It's all, it's all just... I'm assuming they were pre-rendered, you know, CGI, but uh, turned into sprites. And it's just a lot of little animated sprite work. It's, it's really beautiful. All right. Thanks, Baloo. So long. Chawump. And away he goes. Okay, we will continue our adventure. Get a little checkpoint. And again, I'm just playing to have some fun. I'm I'm excited for the release of uh, the 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 new the new Switch Klonoa uh, compilation album. I guess. I mean, it's been. It's been a long time coming, honestly. Um, Klonoa fans have been going crazy, myself included. All right. We are almost through the first level. Let's grab you. Pick all these up. That was the mirror spirit, which gives us a multiplier when we pick up dream stones. When we get a uh, hundred dream stones, we are able to uh, pick up a new life. And as you can see, there are six trapped phantomillions in each stage, and they will all contribute towards this lovely little uh, in-game in menu in between the levels. Uh, I won't bother saving for now. We'll save, uh... We'll save in between our... Our episodes. Whoop. There we go. Let's just have some fun today. Ow! Got it. <laughs> that was close. I am a bit rusty. I have not played Klonoa in quite a while. Oh, another little move. Just kind of walking around with a shield. He gets to be yellow for some reason. They're all just little different colored little enemies. I think it's a really clever game. A lot, most of the enemies just kind of wander around and get in your way. You know, they're not really... They're not really doing anything. They're not actively trying to attack you. They're just kind of doing their own thing. Also, 2.5D. I love this. Right? Super cool. There we go. A little bit more. And... Oh, we're just barely going to make it. <laughs> Okay, we've made our way outside. Well, that was helpful. <laughs> We're just having fun today. And there we go, right on through. 
see if I can do this right. I haven't done this in a, in a long time. Shit. Not like that. Oh, we got two of them. Okay. Jump up here. And then we want to do like this. Uh, I think the way we want to do this is something like that. Oh, maybe that was wrong. <laughs> I'm, I think there's a way to get like a good hundred and you can, there's, so I think it's like 150 dreamstones per stage total, something like that. Um, on, on some of these though, if you're clever, you can get more than 150 or whatever the whatever the total is and you can see like here's a little hidden one right there's a shadow there we go this game holds a, a, a big a big spot in my heart because it was one of the first PlayStation games I ever owned. I, did, I owned this game before I even owned a uh, PlayStation memory card in order to save my progress. So I used to play this with my sister all the time. And we would just play for as long as uh, my dad would let me. Uh, and then... Um, and then we would get to a, we'd get to a point and then... Uh, we'd be like, you know, hey, turn it off! And I'm like, alright. Hmm, <laughs> excuse me. So, uh... Yeah, I've I've played this game a lot. Maybe not as much as some other people out there. You never know. But I've been a big fan of Klonoa for a long time. It arguably uh, a big inspiration musically for me. Um. Oh, I know there was a little hidden one around here somewhere, but I think I missed it. That's okay. I'm pretty sure it just had a, uh, a heart in it. Maybe there was a life. I don't remember. In theory, it should be fine. I don't. Uh, I don't expect I'll be getting a game over anytime soon. Thankfully, lucky for you. All right, we finally reached Bell Hill. He best heads. Shh. Quiet. Ah, it is Lefice for sure. I'm honored, Gaddius. Your darkness. Hmm? It's the diva we heard about. Uh, I love this guy's voice, man. I can't allow you to save the world with your silly song of rebirth. There's no need for rebirth. Should I do like a cool voice too? I shall. <coughs> Can I do it? Can I do a cool voice? I shall imprison you in darkness and destroy the world. <laughs> Joke, on the other hand, is like, <laughs> Where's that pendant? Sire. This is strange. I can't find it. Uh, they are looking for a pendant. But who are they? Hmm. Mice. Very well. The vice is in our hands. Joke, I'm counting on you to take care of the rest. What are they up to? Well, they're taking Lefice. And he's disappearing. Come out, come out, my little mice. Alright. I see we have little puny mice here. Well, I'll have to deal with you. I don't know why I'm giving him that kind of like Monokuma voice from, uh,. I've been watching too much Grumps. Oh my, kids these days don't have any manners. Too bad. I'm going to have to punish you now. Alrighty. It's showtime. Big O. Showtime. Alright, well... Don't worry, I know how to beat this guy. It starts like that. Let's see, he's gonna jump over me. There we go. Yep, there's another one down. 
Here we go. Ah, missed. Double jump. Alright, let's wait for him to jump over me. And... Alright, one more hit, and the Rangalungo is down. Down and down for the count. Nice try, buddy. That's cute. What are you up to? Let's see, can I make you just jump on over me like that? Let's do it. You're done. You're done, son! Kabloom! Eek! Just, just you wait, I won't forget this. And joke is out of the picture, folks. Something fell. A pendant. Lefice and a moon-shaped pendant. Let's ask Grandpa about all this. Okay. Ah, Klonoa. You've really done it this time. This is a crest from the Moon Kingdom. The Moon Kingdom. It's the mystical kingdom they speak of in legends. What about that guy in the tower? Yeah. Is there really a Moon Kingdom? Mm, perhaps there is, but then again, maybe not. Well, I'm worried about that Gaudius character who kidnapped the girl. Either way, we need to take matters into our own hands now. Klonoa, tell Forlock Forest Granny about this. I'm on my way! The Moon Kingdom. Hmm. And just like that, we have finished visions one of one and one of two. All right, we're gonna keep going. I'm gonna save the game here. Fantastic. So it, it, I looked down in the bottom corner there, 97. So it looked like I missed just a couple of uh, dream stones. That's too bad. I'm not gonna stress too hard. We're just here to have fun. And now we are deep in the dying forest. Forlock. Hey! Love these little guys. So yeah, if you've never played this game, um, I mean, one of two options. Either sit here and enjoy watching me play this game for you, I'm, I'm happy to do that. <laughs> or, you know, uh, go get the game yourself and play it yourself. I, 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 I guarantee you, you will enjoy it. If you, uh, if you enjoy, you know, most of the games that you see me play on this channel, then uh, there's a good chance you're going to enjoy Klonoa. There we go. Alright, now we got another one of these coming up here, so let's be careful about this, right? One, two, three, and four. Alright, cool. You may have just noticed that too. Um, there's usually two, but there are, there are multiple songs that are used for each location in the game. Um, and uh, usually it's like an inside and outside kind of theme. And the music plays back seamlessly um, as you transition between these two, those two locations. Super cool. I always wish that uh, more games would do stuff like that, you know? They don't, unfortunately. Um, but whenever they do, it's always really cool. I think it's I think it's a big deal. Boing, boing, boing. Intruder! Who are you? Wait a second! I'm Klonoa from the Wind Village! Leave me alone! Get your fork away from me! Strangers wandering around recently. Door with picture of key. Need key. 
use this key. Thanks. One key, one door. Forget not. Will do. Farewell. <laughs> so we're slowly being introduced to more puzzle elements of of Klonoa. At its at its heart, I feel like this game is a uh, a puzzle platformer, right? There's a uh, there's definitely platform platforming elements, right? But I uh, that helps. There we go. Um, but there's a lot of puzzle elements that are involved in uh, making your way through the platforming sections of this game. There we go. We got our key. Oh, now we just gotta wait for this little... This little leaf. These things are slippery, too. You can fall off those really, really easily. Okay. So again, we are on our way to Forlock Forest's granny. Ow. Oops. <laughs> Cute little guys. Whoa. That's always fun. You get a little, little bit of extra jump in your jump. Shit. There we go. Alright. Continuing our way through... Uh-oh. There we go. It's okay. We're close to the end of the stage anyways. There we go. What are you... are you thinking of going to be on here? Says the little soldier. Uh, that's our plan. No can do. The fairy tree has withered, so you can't go any further. Oh, we're stuck? And who are you, bro? I'm a soldier from Jugpot, the Water Kingdom. I was on an official mission to see Forlock's granny. Looks like I'm stuck. Did something happen in Jugpot? That's a state secret. Meanie. <laughs> Little Hupo. Ah, and we thought Granny could save our king somehow. King? Save? Uh, nothing, nothing. It's not safe out here, so little kitties should go home. Yeah, everyone thinks we're just kids. Something's strange. I wonder if it has something to do with that Gaudius. Looks like we can't go any further. So maybe we should go to Jug Pot. All right, let's go. Okay, so we couldn't continue any further into Forlock Forest. Instead, we will have to make our way to Jug Pot, the Water Kingdom. We'll just go ahead and move on through. And again, we'll save uh, after we complete the next stage. Vision 2 of 2, Beyond the Backwards Waterfall, the Kingdom of Jugpot. <laughs> that was funny. All, all I wanted to do was just get up here and get those gems, but... I wanted to be... I wanted to be silly. Oh, and there we go. The Waterfall! Whoa! I can't do Hupal's voice, it's just too cute. It's flowing backwards. And that's why Water to Forelock has stopped. And the forest's trees have withered. We're gonna have to get to the castle and find out how. And away we go. Boy, I'm impatient. <laughs> Look at me, I'm just getting hurt all over the place too.
Oops. Uh, well, that works. <laughs> that was cute. I got I got lucky with the uh, hit detection there. I think. I didn't think you could stand on that platform so close to the moon without getting uh, oops, without getting hit. Beautiful. Have I have I me I mentioned right the the music in this game? I absolutely adore. Oh, uh oh. I am gonna need. I'm gonna need an enemy. There we go. And we're just gonna carefully make our way up here. That's fine. Grab another uh, trapped Phantomillion. Now it doesn't explain it in the game, but in the manual, it's explained that the uh, the Phantomillions are trapped in nightmares. So we are rescuing them from their nightmares. They're in the little nightmare bubble. There's actually quite a bit of lore in the uh, in the manual that talks about Phantom Isle and um, things like the like the Mirror Spirit here, as well as uh, what led to uh, Gaddius and some of his reasons for doing what he's trying to do. But we'll pick it up, whoop, we will pick it up uh, in game as well, so I won't ruin it by spoiling the, the backstory for now. Suffice to say, he's, uh, he's, he's not been a very good boy. Whoops, I shouldn't have done that. Now I have to wait. Oh, I just, just barely made it on there, didn't I? Uh, well, I guess we'll just sit here and wait. That was fun. It's been a long time since my timing has been not so not so great on some of these things. So it ends up, uh... Whoops. It ends up making little things like that happen, which is just super cute. Just all the little... All the little effects and details I, I just absolutely adore. Ah, oh, see, nope, there, we missed one. If I end up with 149 <laughs> Dreamstones for this stage, that would, uh, that would suck. That's okay. Okay, so here's what we do. We inflate this guy, he loses his shield, right? And then we'll grab this guy, jump on top, and do some, some double jumps. So we're slowly learning some uh, gameplay mechanics. You know, we, can, we can't pick up the, the really big ones, but we can still inflate them big and round. Oop, I want those. Oop. I am, I'm just getting feisty and impatient. That's okay. There we go. Alrighty. Oh. Hupa, here's something. It's a fish! Grill it and eat it! <laughs> no. Let's uh let's push the switch. This is a great song. Th thank you, I'm fa I'm, I'm faved. <laughs> like common and fave for fish. What happened here? Weirdos came here and messed up the castle. It got crazy! Maybe it was Gaddius. Yeah, probably. If you're going to the castle, I can take you there. But I, w I wouldn't recommend it! Oh, fish. Can you save my mommy? I want my mommy back. 
She's probably under some evil spell. We'll give it a shot. Thank you. Hop on my back. I'm Karel. Pleased to meet you. Same here. I'm Klonoa. And I'm Hupo. All right. Let's head into the castle. Gotta gotta load up that load up that castle. So this is the castle. Oh, there he is. I am Seedoff, the king of this castle. Ah, you're the brat the mighty Gaddius spoke of. I knew it! Time for you to go away. Pamela! Ah, oh, Carl's mom. You're mine, brat! All right. There, I have seen some some cool techniques on how to beat this guy. I am unfortunately not super cool, so I'm gonna do it the only way that I know how to do it, which I believe is probably the intended way. I I have seen guys be able to to grab seed off. From on top of Pamel when he's when he's like lunging out at you, um, but I've never I've never I've never been able to do it myself. I didn't even know you could do it until the last year or two, and this game's been out for almost 25 years now. You know, that's okay though. I'm I'm pretty good at picking this dude up and smacking him in against the fish. Oh, I was too late. That's too bad. That's okay. We'll get to enjoy this music a little bit longer. It's a great song, isn't it? We just need to get one more hit in, and we are good to go. Oh, yeah! Oh, man. He's giving me a run for my money. All right, one more hit. Got him. Vision two of two is clear. And Pamela is looking much better. And so is the king. Choke. You call yourself the king of Jugpot and you get beaten by this brat? Weakling, useless. No good. Oh. I'll be back. Oh, Seedoff. You've been having a bad day, my friend. You were under a spell cast by that Gaudius character. I have a feeling he's plotting something against the Moon Kingdom. If that's the case, Forlock's granny is in grave danger. Granny knows a lot about ancient legends. She should know something about the Moon Kingdom. And that's why Jugpot's water was made to flow backwards, to kill off Forlock Forest. What an evil, ruthless fiend. We have to go back to Forlock. And Seedoff says, I shall return the water back to normal. The withered trees should come back to life. Hey, what's up, Karel? Take them back, Karel. Corral. I don't know. Mommy's back to normal, and that's all that matters. Not my pronunciation of things. <laughs> Let's go. Look at that. Back to Forlock Forest we go, and it is looking mighty green. Thanks, Corral. 
We'll see you soon. Bum 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 ba dum dum. And with that, I'm gonna call that an episode. So thank you guys so much for stopping by. My name again is DJ Ear. Feel free to share this with your friends or uh, look up the game now and uh, either play it yourself or get excited for the release coming to Switch and other platforms soon. If you can't get enough at this point, I'll see you in the next episode. Take care. <laughs>